Greetings, family. It's Empress D, obviously in nature. I hope everybody is well and um, changing their lives somehow, some way. Okay, you don't want to do nature, that's fair. Do something every day that's going to help cultivate your soul, help you get to know yourself better, you know, help improve yourself. Something do something every day that your future self will be so grateful you did. I hope that everybody's engaging in something along those lines. If you are not, I am concerned for you. I really am. Quite frankly, 2020 was when we were supposed to get clear vision. We were supposed to see the world for what it really is. At least we were supposed to begin to start to see the world for what it really is. That's when that illusion should have been starting to be lifted because our reality is so much, so much more sinister than we recognize. The influence on this planet and on our lives is so much more sinister and not for our greater good than we realize as a collective. And so that, in, in my opinion, 2020 should have been that, that, that switch that made you kind of, hey, say, hey, wait a second, what's really going on here? Either that happened or you buried whatever flicker went off in your heart or mind and said, nah, nah, it can't be, and continued to believe in the lie family. Today I want to talk about apathy. So what is apathy? Apathy is when we don't, we might not agree with what's happening, but we just keep quiet and, and keep to ourselves and keep on keeping on. We essentially might not agree with something happening around us, but we'll just go along with it as to not make a fuss. Apathy is what that is. Apathy in, its, in and of itself is actually agreeing with whatever's happening. So if you don't object to it, you are agreeing with it. And that's just how it goes. And so if something happening is, if something's happening around you that is you're not quite in agreement with, but you don't speak up about it. You, my friend, are being apathetic. And again, apathy is on the team of going with whatever's going on, even though you don't agree with it. So apathy isn't good because when you think about it, that person that's in that apathetic mode has to live two lives, you know, in their heart of hearts. Or maybe not live two lives, but they have to be split in their in their in their mind. Because look at this. They have to, you know, at least in society, show that they go along with whatever's happen whatever they don't agree with is. But at home they may verbalize to them their mate maybe their mate or their children or maybe themselves that hey man, I really don't like what's going on. So so that person has to be living two different realities that can't be good that can't be good again being authentic and living your your best life is being the same person in all environments right or having the same philosophy beliefs in all environments your beliefs and philosophies don't change with their environment right so it's i i feel for people that are in that apathetic mode it's not it's not an easy place to be right Trust me, it's so much more liberating to pick a side <laughs> and, and, and be actually communicate what you actually feel and not what you think you should communicate. And I think that's where people go wrong. I think people have to work more at or practice speaking what's actually on their mind and not what they think the person wants to hear. And I think that will get us out of apathy, family. Apathy is no good. You you. you you have to speak your mind. And if you disagree with what's going on, you have to express it. You have to express it because if you don't, you're essentially consenting to it. 
and that's just the reality of it so that's my take on apathy family and again we are if you're not making changes in your life at this point if you're not examining your life at this point if you're not investing in your future self at this point on a daily basis you need to start and hope for the best okay family that's what's up anyway thank you for taking the time to listen to this message I really love and I value each and every one of you. And honestly, I hope everybody's growing in some form or fashion. Okay, thank you. One love.